Fab Fiber Tools combines the world of fiber crafts and modern physical fabrication to create useful, cost-effective tools that can be put into the hands of both skilled makers and beginning students for a fun, hands-on learning experience. Our project has three main goals. One, design compact fiber machines out of common materials through laser cutting and basic shop tools. Two, create free, easy to follow instructions for building and using these machines. And three, teach workshops to educate users of different skill levels how to build, understand, and use these new tools. My name is Audra Carlisle, workshop coordinator and lead for fabrication and product design. I designed the fab fiber spindles, looms, and all associated accessories. I've been in charge of laser cutting these and have also helped out with the illustrations for the looms and logistics of our project. After roughly eight original loom prototypes, the final design is ergonomic, lightweight, and is easy to put together and use. Each piece has been carefully designed to fit easily into the collection of any weaver, experienced or brand new, with standardized sizes and simple, intuitive tools. This has been my greatest success. Each fab fiber loom, including all accessories, is able to be made for about $6 in materials. Our central goal was to make these looms as accessible as possible, and we have been very successful in doing so. My biggest challenge at this point has been negotiating various constraints. I have run into several issues with materials not being available, machines not working correctly, and a lack of storage space. I have had to work around this and to adjust expectations accordingly. Thus far, we've hosted one workshop with the Fiber Arts Network of Arizona State. I led this workshop, building the lesson plan and coordinating it. We built looms, held a discussion on the role of fiber arts in technological spaces, and began weaving. This workshop went incredibly well. I'm looking forward to teaching the next workshop and building more looms. My name is Darcy Simpson, lead for graphic design, web design, and documentation. I have been helping out with various parts of the project. I created our Fab Fiber logo that is featured on our project website in the instruction manuals and on the Fab Fiber tools. I also designed the instruction manuals and documented the process to create something that was easy to follow. I have been helping Andre with the product design by creating graphic designs for the drop spindles. Through each step of the process, I've documented what we've completed as a team, including our first workshop that we hosted for the Fiber Arts Network at ASU. All this has been collected and updated weekly on our project website that I created using WordPress. Personally, my biggest success has been creating the mini loom instruction manuals in a way that flows well and is easy to understand, as well as the design and upkeep of our project website. However, I have struggled with being able to find time to buy materials for the lab and finding places for storing our tools and supplies. Hi, my name is Benjamin, and I'm a designer and illustrator for the team, as well as an overall helping hand. Through the duration of our work, I've been asked for posters as well as illustrations for workshops, looms, and various necessities the projects have needed. I spend most of my time on Adobe Illustrator simplifying complex ideas into files that can be translated quickly and efficiently on the laser cutters. For our workshops, I took the time to research the culture of the attendees and design something I will advertise and relate to them as a group specifically. It's probably my favorite part of design, creating something that appeals to cultures of people that I potentially have to research. When it comes to being a helping hand in the interim of creating, I found that my woodworking, fine arts, and industrial work background have come in handy in order to teach the proper uses of tools we use during the assembly of the mini limbs. Even though we've accomplished a great amount at this point, we still have a few things we need to finish up. On October 22nd, we have our next mini loom workshop with Creator Space set up. Participants in each of these workshops will be providing us with woven samples by November 22nd to be shown at Showcase. After this last mini loom workshop is completed, we will be focusing on making 15 mini looms for the fibers department in Herberger. Once those are completed, we will be able to discuss other possible workshops demonstrating our drop spindle tool and gather our documentation for Showcase.